the publicity surrounding the fact that we're the first two sister generals has uh, very uh, reminded us very poignantly how much role models do matter to women, daughters, nieces. Seeing positive, successful role models is really valued. Leadership, if done right, can be incredibly addictive. It's very fulfilling, it's if you, again, if you do it right, it's very impactful, and more importantly, make individual people feel like they can accomplish things that are bigger than themselves. I think Maria's leadership, it's so precise and strategic and deliberate. I think that's how I would frame uh, you as a leader. She calls me deliberate and precise. Paul laid out a plan and then ruthlessly drove to that plan. <laughs> Uh, and, and with success, and I think the armies uh, recognize that. I think, um, you know, leading is always about achieving some outcome. We endeavor to understand the challenges that are in front of us. We may have a vision for where we need to go, um, and then we kind of lay that path. My father's service obviously came to the forefront when Paul and I were getting into ROTC. He never really talked about his service. And so it wasn't until you know he passed away that you learn things like he won the Silver Star. We understood what he meant to the community and it was absolutely stunning the impact that he had on people's lives. He was always out front greeting the children as they got off the bus, uh, whether it was rain or shine. Fast forward, um, 40 some odd years, um, I had a sergeant major one time ask me, we were adamant we always go out to the plane to see the soldiers off on deployment or greet them home from deployment. And I had a sergeant major ask me one time, you know, who taught you that? Who gave you that go be where the soldiers are, where even the, even the most junior soldier where your presence can be most impactful? And I'd, and I'd like to think it was a little bit connective tissue back to who he was. It's easy to, to kind of maybe look in the rear view mirror and imagine that, that you were just destined to be groundbreaking and the first, but you just put your head down and, and work hard towards something that you believe in. You need to be part of a team, you need to be contributing a part of the team, and then as you go along, you become part of a, a system of groundbreaking that occurs. It's not just one woman, it's several women in front of you that are going to do this. I think how the Army has adapted is wonderful because it is about pr making sure that everybody has the opportunity to fit in and fulfill where they, where they best can.